guess what's back? But now, some big improvements. Yes, it has been a long, long time coming, but the Everything Presence Lite is finally back, and I wanted to give you all a quick update to explain why on earth it has taken this long. But first, a quick recap. Back in October last year, we launched our new millimeter wave presence sensor for Home Assistant users that aimed to be a very affordable way to add millimeter wave presence detection to your Home Assistant, and also featured support for zones and coordinates to track where in a room specifically a target was, and also featured support out of the box for four different millimeter wave sensors that are on the market, and we also added another one just recently to take it up to five sensors that are plug and play, plus a few others that are pin compatible, making it a really versatile sensor for millimeter wave presence, because you can literally just swap out the sensor for the one that suits your specific needs best, and also has a light sensor and a Bluetooth proxy and tracking capabilities and so on. But ever since the last batch that we had back in January, it's been pretty much sold out since then. So what gives? Well, in all honesty, it's taken much longer than I'd hoped, but there has been a good reason for it, because we've been making some really great changes that I'm excited to share with you now. So the first big change is the one that you will notice right away when you open the box. Previously, you'd open the box and we'd kind of have all the components in their own little compartments, which then took a few minutes to plug in, assemble, uh, update the firmware, and so on. But now when you open the box, you'll see that everything comes completely assembled and ready to go out of the box. No assembly required, just plug in and away you go. What's also really cool here is that there is a factory firmware loaded on here that means if you have Bluetooth enabled in Home Assistant, you can literally just take this out of the box, plug it in, and Home Assistant will discover it out of the box and let you set it up. No need to flash the firmware or anything like that, it's just ready to go. Alongside the completed assembly, we also improved the packaging with a custom foam insert to protect it no matter where in the world we are shipping to. And we of course have the USB cable included in the box, same as before. But side note, a lot of you actually missed the link to the instructions that is printed right inside of the lid of the box. So that is there just in case you do get stuck. The second major improvement we made is one that has by far taken the longest amount of time. The case is now injection molded instead of 3D printed. See, in the beginning when we first started with the original EP1, while we were learning lots of new things like PCB manufacturing and testing, packaging, shipping, and so much more things, we tried to keep things simple for ourselves where possible, and the case was one such area where we went with 3D printing because that's something that I had a decent amount of knowledge about, and while 3D printing has been great, I always had dreams of injection molding at some point, but I was always too scared and overwhelmed to tackle it back then. But it's a process that we have now done with the light and oh my days, it feels so good now. The design itself is mostly the same, but it does have a few subtle changes now that we don't have to work around the constraints of 3D printing supports. But the biggest changes are of course the overall fit and finish. It doesn't have any of those kind of rattles or squeaks or cracks that you get from 3D printing. And of course there is no layer lines when you go injection molding either, and it just feels night and day difference when you're actually holding them in your hand. The camera doesn't really pick it up as well as it does in real life, but to me it is a huge, huge improvement and one that I am really, really looking forward to seeing your reaction to. The other massive improvement is specifically around the ball joint and stand, where 3D printing has a much wider tolerance than injection molding does, and could result in one unit having an extremely tight stand and the other unit having a much looser stand. Some of you may have even had issues with the ball joint breaking, which we did of course replace, but still that was an annoying issue. But those are now completely eliminated with the new case and it gives so much more confidence in the stand and the ball joint that you can set it to any position you want without it breaking. And the stand has also been tweaked and again is so, so much stronger now. There's a couple of small tweaks on the inside now too. Firstly, the front cover is a little bit different to remove than it was before, and is even more secure than it was. The easiest way I found is to kind of pinch the bottom and top of the back panel because there is little tabs holding it in place, 
and then sliding it off towards the front. Inside, there is two small changes. On the front cover, there is now a couple of tabs, which when in place, will push down on the millimeter wave sensor to keep it securely in place for shipping and also for daily operation to help with vibrations and that kind of thing. And then if you look under the millimeter wave sensor, there is also a little foam insert for the sensor to rest on. And again, just to keep it nice and secure and stop it moving around when in daily use to get the best readings. Honestly, I am so, so happy with the case now. It's finished in this really nice matte white, feels so much better in the hand and just really makes it feel like a proper professional product now instead of a DIY one. But I love that you can still swap sensors out, flash the firmware and do whatever else you want if you like with it. Now, I realize the biggest question that a lot of you are going to have is if you have the original case for the light, can you just buy the new injection molded case and swap the PCBs? And I definitely think it should be possible if we have enough people to hit the minimum order quantities because you kind of have to pay attention to those when you do injection molding. So if you are interested in buying the new case, which we will of course try and make as cheap as we possibly can for you, then drop a comment down below so we can kind of figure out the quantities that we're looking at and hopefully we can make that happen. Speaking of it feeling like an actual proper product now, because it is now fully assembled and ready to go right out of the box, we went ahead and have now certified the light with a third party lab and it has now passed both the UK CA and the CE certifications, which I think is a really, really nice way to round it all off. And yeah, really proud that we have now achieved that too. It feels like an actual proper professional product now. Now we come to the part where we have to discuss the thing that I most kind of wanted to avoid and that is the price. Now, obviously injection molding is hugely expensive and certification is hugely expensive. So that means the price of the Everything Presence Light is uh, the same. It's, it's the same price. Nice. As you might have guessed, we are launching our restock of the light alongside the release of this video. So links in the description if you want to check them out and pick one up. And this is by far the biggest restock we have ever done by a long way, as I know that has been an issue in the past. So thank you for being patient with us. Please be patient also with the shipping times. We are a very small team, but we will work to get them out to you as fast as we possibly can. And yeah, that's it. Just really wanted to share these exciting improvements that we've been working on for the last few months with you. And so happy that the light is finally here. Thank you so much for all of your support with the shop and with all of the products that we are making. And I've said this before, but I know we are a very small player in the space and we are very much still learning, but our goal with every new product is to learn and improve some aspect of what we are doing so that we can go from DIY stuff to proper professional smart home products. So with the EP1, the functionality and the features were all there in the beginning and those, those were top tier, but packaging was basic, the case was very DIY and so on. And then with the light, we drastically improved the packaging, the shipping and the testing processes. And then with this refresh, we've obviously majorly improved the case, the out of the box experience, the packaging and the certification. And none of these things would have happened without you guys continuing to buy stuff from the shop and supporting us. So thank you so much. I really do mean that. And we just really want to make cool products specifically for the home assistant community with a focus on local control and privacy and you guys supporting us lets us keep pushing forward and improving and making bigger and better things. I've got so many ideas that I want to get to. So once again, thank you so much. And yeah, I think that's about it for this update and that's kind of everything new going on with me. Oh, we've also been fitting out a bigger and better warehouse and office space to work from, as you might've got a sneak peek of at the beginning of the video, which I'm gonna be adding in some smart devices to soon, of course. It wouldn't be everything smart home without them. So maybe if you're interested in seeing some content of the smart devices that we put in that office space, drop a comment down below. And I'm also gonna be moving house soon too. So that means an entire new house to build out and make content on from. So that will be exciting. Lots of good plans for that place. And also leave your suggestions for that place down in the comments below. So not much, not much going on at all. Thank you so much again for all of your amazing, amazing support. I truly do have the best community 
which I am so thankful for. I hope you enjoyed the updates and the new features. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.